what's up train life at peeps I'm at the cat not the cat store but the pet store picking up some cat food for Smokey the cat the train life at cat we always hear about the gym dog uh, Smokey's the gym cat if you haven't met him yet he sometimes comes down and says hi he sneaks his way downstairs and says hello but uh, anyway on the way here I started to think about the stories we tell ourselves as individuals as a society and how that shapes our reality every second, every minute, every hour, uh, every year, and for the rest of our lives. And it got me thinking about um, the stories we tell ourselves in the gym, uh, with our life, uh, in relationships, with our careers, with our businesses. And uh, I was thinking about this and I realized, I tell myself quite a bit that I can't do a lot of things. Now when it, come, when it comes to the gym, when it comes to business, I, I, I quite, risky or risque so to speak i jump in and then i figure it out on the way down as i jump off the cliff i'm trying to learn how to fly on the way down and that's great but in some other regards um even with business i should back up even with business i, I was thinking about this i'm wanting to hire a coach and at the same time for, for some odd reason i'm thinking well will this coach have the same amount of, amount of enthusiasm and tension and care and empathy for each client that i do Will they pay enough attention to new people? Will they be able to organize class such that people are are uh, motivating each other, inspiring each other? And I'll tell myself, no, it's not possible, so I'll keep putting off hiring another coach. And it keeps kind of preventing me or limiting me from, from uh, being able to take more and more people. So, and it's a story I'm telling myself. It's obviously a story I'm telling myself. If I told myself a similar story, while trying to lift 300 pounds or 400 pounds off the floor while, while I'm doing a deadlift or I'm trying to squat 300 pounds off my back, I'm probably not going to achieve that feat. I'm probably going to fail and collapse on the bottom because I've already told myself that it's not possible. So any efforts at that point is go are, are going to be futile because I've told myself no. Uh, and even if I do try to some degree, I'm probably not, not going to put my 100% into it because I don't quite believe 100% that I can achieve it. So it then got me to reflect uh, about that in regards to everyone that comes to classes at TLF, everyone that goes and pursues some sort of fitness or wellness transformation on, on their own uh, or nutritional transformation on their own. If you keep telling yourself that, oh, well, I can't give up this or I can't pursue this, I can't, I can't pursue my dream, my dream job, I can't pursue my passion, that's not feasible, it's not practical, then that's probably the story that you're gonna have to live with, live with for the rest of your life. You have set a limitation for yourself. You've argued for that limitation and well you, well, you get to keep that limitation. And I caught myself today saying that to myself. And I'm realizing like, well, Sumer, you get to keep that damn limitation. If you think there are no coaches out there that are gonna have the same amount of enthusiasm, love and passion for what for what TLF stands for, then that's the limitation that I'm gonna keep for the rest of my life. And I want you guys to now take that idea, that concept, and apply it to your life and see in what parts of your life are you arguing a certain story for yourself? And how is that story limiting you from getting to the next level, the next step to where you want to be? All right? Peace.